Dear all, welcome to Civil Services with Zaki. Today we are going to discuss about the world largest neutrino detector and as you know it is related to the Civil Services prelims 2024 and basically current affairs series and these current affairs series are very significant for the Civil Services exams. So without further delay we start and see what are the today's sub topic. So first we see the animation of the trident basically uh, this neutrino detector is in short called trident so we also know about the trident and also the other neutrino detector presently situated across the globe and also what is the chernikov radiation so we also see what is the chernikov radiation basically these radiation used to detect the neutrino and Another is what are neutrino, we also know about the what are neutrino and what are the types of the neutrino and also discovery of neutrino, so who discovered the neutrino, who first assumed or hypothesized the, about the neutrino. So all about we discuss about this the discovery of the neutrino and another is why neutrino are significant so why the scientist basically the astrophysicist and basically in the astronomy neutrino detecting uh, detecting a neutrino is a very significant and basically why this is significant for the scientific community so we will also discuss about the significance of the neutrino and also as you know what is the significance about the UPSC exam so we provide you the mega question for the UPSC civil services examination 2024 and basically five most probable question for the UPSC civil services prelims examination so stay with us till the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel so let's we see the contest so in contest Scientists in China have started building giant neutrino telescope in the southern China Sea. Basically, uh, this uh, situ uh, uh, telescope will be situated on South China Sea. So, basically, South China Sea in Western Pacific. Basically, it is Western Pacific. Pacific situated in which they hope will help to solve the century old puzzles of the origin of the cosmic rays. So basically it is for the uh, detection of the origin of the cosmic rays while exploring the extreme universe. When it completed, it will be completed in 2030, the tropical deep sea neutrino telescope in short it is called Trident. Tropical <coughs> deep C neutrino telescope and it is called trident, uh, trident. In Chinese, this telescope is called high ling. High ling, high means ocean, ling means bell. It means ocean bell. It will be the largest neutrino and most advanced in the world. If uh, after completion, uh, when it completed, then it is the uh, it, uh, it will be the world largest and most advanced uh, neutrino detector so let's see the animation in sort so see here animation so if you see here as you know uh, about the neutrino so neutrino is the most uh, elusive uh, substance in the universe like, uh, like the dark matter so uh, basically it is also known as the ghost particle because uh, it can't detect directly because uh, uh, neutrino have no charge and uh, base less uh, basically slight mass so basically neutrino produced when the some nuclear activities happen like the fusion fusion in the stars fusion in the uh, every uh, thing uh, like the nuclear process whether it is fusion or whether it is then nuclear decay so see here so if you see the neutrino so uh, like the sun as you know the sun produced the uh, energy due to the nuclear fusion so nuclear fusion uh, so nuclear fusion is the one of the most important to uh, produce neutrino so if you face the sun so if you uh, your thumb is directly interact with the 60 billion neutrino per second 
and if you see here like this if you see sun here so uh, in your body like you see about trillions of neutrino strike your body every every second so that's why neutrino is called most abundant element in the our universe first uh, first decade if you see uh, the first decade scientists assume neutron is the massless but no the research confirm it is have some mass but how mass it's also a puzzle for the scientist so if you see neutrino basically three type of neutrino electron neutrino muon neutrino and tau neutrino if you see here then see the lightest neutrino is the electron neutrino and the heaviest neutrino is tau neutrino so the muon neutrino is heavier than the electron neutrino but lighter than the tau neutrino so tau neutrino is the high heaviest neutrino so basically these uh, three type of neutrino basically found in the universe presently so this is how neutrino interact so uh, if you see here the uh, neutrino these neutrino are very hard to find because these neutrino uh, are chargeless so that's why it's not interact with any other uh, matter so uh, presently world largest neutrino detector situated in antarctica ice cube uh, as you see here uh, this is ice cube neutrino detector and also if you see here if you see here another is kamikonde uh, detector in japan in japan so uh, these two detector but these two detector are not more effective because scientists need more neutrino uh, to find out the sources of the uh, high energy cosmic radiation so that's why scientists need a large volume of the water and as you know pacific ocean is the ideal place for these large volume of water that's why scientists basically if you see here if you see here scientists in china uh, uh, plan to build a multi cubic kilometer it's called multi cubic kilometer and as you know this article published in the nature astronomy uh, on uh, basically updated on 9th october 2023 so basically uh, this is very very significant step for the detecting for the neutrino so basically the this neutrino detector uh, will call trident because as you know the moon neutrino interact with the tropical area so that's why it is uh, situated in the tropical so it is known as the tropical deep sea neutrino telescope so uh, in short it is called trident so trident means tropical deep sea neutrino telescope so let's further move see here and it is also known as hiding in chinese uh, language uh, because as you know see here it's look like bell so basically it is situated uh, will be situated in the seabed and it's cover about 7.5 cubic kilometers so large volume of water that's why it will detect more neutrino and more uh, cosmic waves so basically it is neutrino uh, detected by the chernikov radiation with the water so that's why large volume of the water is very very significant to detect the neutrino that's why so basically uh, chernikov radiation work like a sonic boom uh, in, in, in in this situation so, so we also uh, discuss about the chernikov uh, radiation so what is chernikov radiation so after these uh, detection scientists will able to find in 2030 and uh, pinpoint the uh, sources of these high energy cosmic radiation so that's why it is very significant for the uh, the scientific and basically the astronomy so let's we start and see what about the trident so if you see
ट्राइडेंट ट्रॉपिकल डीप सी न्यूट्रीनो ऑब्जर्वेटरी और न्यूट्रीनो टेलीस्कोप इट इज कॉल्ड ट्राइडेंट एंड एज यू नो हाईली इन ऑसन बेल इन चाइनीज लैंग्वेज सो इट विल बी एंकर्ड इन दी बर्ड थ्री पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर बिलो द बिलो द पैसिफिक ऑसन बेसिकली वेस्टर्न पैसिफिक ऑसन सो इट इज gigantic new detector will be consist more than 24000 optical sensors bead across 1211 string each string is 2300 feet or 700 meter long so that ball bead upward from their anchoring point of the seabed and they easily detect neutrino large amount of the neutrino in the pacific ocean so as you know see so it is hiding as you know hiding hiding means ocean bell so it look like a bell as you see here yeah? it look like a bell so it detect neutrino like neutrino so it's a large volume about 7.5 cubic kilometer cubic kilometer so it is the uh, it will be the world largest and most advanced neutrino detector so let's we see its operational uh, when it's operational it will be a scan neutrino about 1.7 cubic mile or 7.5 cubic kilometer so if you see here the paper in nature astronomy as we discuss in the animation present plan to the new china neutrino so it's titled a multi cubic kilometer neutrino telescope in the western pacific so that's why this telescope is one of the significant for the detection of the neutrino so let's we see the other neutrino detector so as you know the presently world current largest uh, basically neutrino detector is ice cube detector located in Amund Shen Scott, uh, basically it is South Pole, situated exactly on the South Pole station in Antarctica. It has a monitoring about the zero point four or one cubic kilometer. So, uh, as you know, it is much smaller than the Hailing or the Trident. Trident seven point five kilometer cubic kilometer. and it is 1 cubic kilometer that's why it is also known as the multi uh, cubic kilometer uh, neutrino detector so let's another it is ice cube it is ice cube neutrino detector present so see here it is so here radius is 1 cubic kilometer One cubic kilometer. That's why it it, it is uh, presently it is the world largest neutrino detector. Let's we see another. And second is the Russian Baikal Gigaton Volume Detector. It's also a neutrino detector situated uh, in the Baikal Lake. As you know, the Baikal Lake is the world deepest lake. as you know so the gvd is the largest underwater space telescope so as you know it is the largest underwater space telescope in the northern hemisphere presently the largest uh, neutrino detector telescope is ice cube and the second uh, is baikal gigaton volume detector and it is situated in the lake baikal and in the northern hemisphere as you know the ice cube situated in the southern hemisphere another is japan super kamikonde sk in short detector is also a cherenkov detector so basically cherenkov detector means it's also basically detect neutrino due to the cherenkov radiation so we also know about the what is cherenkov radiation so let's uh, stay with us and don't forget to subscribe our channel and we also see the chernikov radiation so what is chernikov radiation so if you see 
the chernikov radiation happen when electric charged particle so electrically charged particle such as proton electron as you know the proton is plus and electron is negative travel faster than the light so electron and proton here travel faster than the light in a clear medium like the water so uh, like the sonic boom so it's it's only charged particle so it's only charged particle emit Chernikov radiation however a neutrino can't interact with an atom so if we see here only charged particle only charged particle interact um, radiate basically Chernikov radiation so why uh, we uh, detect neutrino because neutrino have chargeless so basically uh, neutrino can interact with the atom of the glass or water so when neutrino interact with the water they generate or produce high energy electron so high energy electron produced by neutrino and finally these high energy electron travel faster than the speed of the light through the glass of the water and then it easily detect by the scientist so like the sonic boom sonic boom means every uh, any object faster than the sound creates sonic boom that's why any object faster than the speed of light create Chernikov radiation so here speed of light so as you know the about the Einstein formula uh, speed of the light is the highest and no any object pass and faster than the speed of light so as uh, one question because it is naturally arise your mind so here how electron or how these high charge particle uh, travel faster than the light because it is not in vacuum because it is in uh, some medium like the water or the like the glass so if you see the like water or glass it's reduced significantly that's why the electron and the other charge particle uh, travel in the uh, water or such type of the glass um, uh, transparent material faster than the light so i hope you understand why uh, chernikov radiation uh, basically produced due to the uh, any charged particle uh, travel faster than the light so it's Chernikov radiation so first as you know uh, we will discuss about the neutrino so what is neutrino so first we see what is uh, what are neutrino so basically if you see the neutrino is an elusive somehow subatomic particle and or it also known as the ghost particle ghost particle or elusive particle it is very similar to an electron but no electrical charge neutrino no electrical charge and a very small mass which might be zero so uh, of four fundamental forces as you know the four fundamental forces in the universe neutrino intact only two fundamental uh, force it is called gravity and the weak forces so there are three type of neutrino uh, uh. If we see the neutrino, there are three type of the neutrino: electron neutrino, muon neutrino, and tau neutrino. So, electron neutrino is the lightest or approximately massless, very few mass, and the heaviest neutrino is tau neutrino. Neutrino are one of the most abundant particle in the universe. So, assume neutrino is the most abundant particle in the universe. So in every second billions and trillions of neutrino interact with your body but you can't detect so that's why it is called ghost particle or it is called elusive particle so uh, we move further and see discovery of neutrino so how uh, this neutrino discovered so in 1930 wolfgang pauli first postulated or uh, hypothesized that the existence of the neutrino in 1930 but it took 
about 25 years. In 1955, finally, these neutrinos detected. So, uh, neutrino we are first detected is 1955 by the physicist Clyde Clough and Frederick Rains. And basically, uh, detection in the Los Alamos National Laboratory. So, uh, they detect neutrino at the Los Alamos National Laboratory and basically Frederick Green and Clyde Crone won the Nobel Prize in 1995. So, these uh, two persons uh, basically get Nobel Prize for the detection of the neutrino. And at 1995, basically at that time, Clyde Cohen died. So, basically only uh, living person uh, at the uh, time of the Nobel Prize is Frederick Rains. So, it is discovery of neutrino and neutrino a most elusive particle. So, another uh, thing is why neutrino is significant and why scientists keen to know about the neutrino or detect about the neutrino. So, let us see why neutrino are significant. So, if you see the scientist keen to pinpoint the sources of ultra high energy cosmic ray. So, they can do it by the detecting neutrino. So, if they easily detect or detect neutrino, then they can find the source of these high energy rays, which are accelerated relative speed of extra galactic object as you know, uh, basically it is the shooting jets uh, basically out from the active galactic nuclei or in short we call it AGN. Since neutrino seldom interact with anything, they travel long, a straight path, even through the dense environment without swirling. If you can detect them, you can track them, their sources. So, uh, that's why is uh, this disc, uh, the detection of these neutrinos are very very significant so see uh, let's see in, in something uh, if you see here see here assume this is a galaxy this is galaxy and it is agn active galactic nuclei so it's produced like the jet and some of the jet and basically it's high energy like the gamma rays and all that but as you know they can travel and they can interact with space and time and some other thing so they don't um, uh, straight come forward to the earth so uh, basically these are uh, these charged particle whether it is uh, photon and other thing interact with other uh, other particle so you can't uh, track the sources of the Active. But as you know, the neutrino interact uh, uh, with uh, nothing or less interact with anything. So, neutrino can travel directly. So, if we detect from the earth the neutrino, we can find direct sources of the these. So, that is why scientists keen interest to detect the neutrino, whether it is Pacific Ocean and, and other. So, if uh, as you know, this is tropical, so tropical areas situated so it means scientists hope it will detect more more neutrino and scientists uh, can find astrophysicists can find the direct source of the active nuclei galaxy and etc so i hope you understand why this is very very significant for the scientist or for the astrophysics so as you know this topic is also significant for you so, uh, as you know, uh, we provide you f five questions. So, basically, it is mega questions. So, five question. So, mega question for the UPSC CSE 2024 question so first is the basically uh, related to the several uh, neutrino detector another is the largest underwater telescope percent telescope in the northern hemisphere another is related to the chernikov radiation uh, we will discuss all about that so and fourth is the uh, heaviest neutrino so the type of neutrino and fifth is the uh, 
basically discovery of the neutrino so all these five question is very very significant so you can find all these questions in our uh, description box so go to the description box and please uh, solve these questions because these questions are very very significant for the civil services examination and as you know uh, previous year like 2022 2023 20 plus questions directly asked from this video series and uh, our blog so you can also join our regular uh, weekly current affairs class and we will discuss all these questions in this uh, current affairs class in this saturday uh, so uh, for this saturday uh, so you can join this so uh, basically uh, this so uh, you can join uh, this is our zoom class so you can join easily zoom class but you can only uh, only those students who uh, are the member of our specific uh, whatsapp group will join this group so i hope uh, we will meet in this uh, class and if you have any question you can directly ask uh, uh, and direct ask uh, in these live classes so zoom classes i hope uh, we will meet in this classes so uh, if you want to uh, basically um, help us then you can easily help me by scanning this so thanks for watching this video thanks thanks a lot we will meet in the next